This video is the second of two videos on error analysis in PC Swim. In the first video we looked at comparing the computed response function to the observed response function. And now in this video we're going to be looking at generating calibration plots by defining a number of events and uh, looking at the comparable statistics for those events. So in order to do that, we need to define our events. So we can define events by manually by dragging over the area that you want to define your event. And in the Events tab, adding the event. Let me zoom back out, and I'll add another event. And let's say another one, and so on. Uh, you can see the events highlighted in gray on the plot, and they correspond to different events in the table. And you can click on them in the plot and see which event they highlight. And we can, of course, organize the events um, according to whatever column we're interested in. Now, if we want to get the program to automatically generate these events, we can go to Auto Select Events and specifies a uh, minimum inter-event time. Event thresholds, which is useful, more useful for uh, defining events based on flows where there's a base flow. And I'm going to extend the events um, by six hours following the end of rainfall uh, because I'm wanting to c uh, look at the, re the recession limb of the, of the hydrograph as well. Click on select. It added all my 11 events that it found according to that criteria. And again, we can jump through and see the events by total rainfall. Now, because we've created our events and we've um, plotted our observed versus computed, we automatically have access to a calibration plot. And the calibration plot shows us on a plot of computed versus observed how well we're doing for those 11 events. We're looking at maximums. We can also look at uh, total statistics. And we can have options to turn on a uh, 10% envelope for plus or minus 10% of that value. And we can also show the error on the plot as well. Okay, And then we can see very quickly that we're doing fairly well in terms of matching total events with one outlier. We select the outlier, and we can see which one it is. Now, in this case, it's likely because the uh, rainfall uh, was supplied by a rain gauge that was some distance away from the uh, project area. And so we may have had a event that uh, hit the, rain the project area and did not hit the rain gauge. And that's a quick introduction to generating uh, calibration plots and doing error analysis based on a large number of events.